Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm checking out the Chiasen CX-10D quadcopter that has kindly been sent in for review by LightTate.com. Now, spoiler alert, I've been flying this thing all week and I absolutely love it. I'll put a link in the description if you wish to purchase it. Everything about this quadcopter says collector's item to me. Look at the box that it comes in, which is in two parts. Remove the cover and we have a window showing the quadcopter inside. It comes in two colour schemes with this paint splatter design and the back of the box shows the other available camouflage design. In the box we have the quadcopter which comes with a built-in 100 milliamp battery and an on and off switch. But something amazing about this nano quadcopter is that it features altitude hold. It has a built-in barometer which measures the air pressure around it and therefore the quadcopter can guess its height. Now altitude hold usually really only works outdoors due to slight inaccuracies in the way that it works. But I will tell you now they have absolutely nailed it with this quadcopter. It holds its height perfect inside. I don't know how they have done it but it just does. Also in the box we have the USB charger and take a look at the transmitter. It comes in this glossy paint splatter design again. It requires two AAA batteries and as this aircraft has altitude hold, both of the control sticks are spring loaded. I'm happy to see that Chearson have taken advantage of this by offering both mode 1 and mode 2 control options. There's no mode 3 or mode 4 though, but I guess they have added the most popular ones. To put it into mode 1, you have to hold down the right trim button and turn the transmitter on and then when you let go of the trim button, you will hear a beep and it's now in mode 1. You have to do this every time if you want to fly in mode 1, unfortunately. This top trim button is actually a takeoff and landing button and it works really well. You can also arm the quad in the conventional way, but I just use this button, it's really easy. A short press on the top of the button and the aircraft will lift up into the air and hover at about one meter. Pressing down on the button will cause the quadcopter to descend and perform a landing until the motors stop. The other trim button is the roll trim. There isn't a yaw or pitch trim but honestly it didn't need any adjusting anyway. If you push the left hand stick in, we are given three different rate modes of low, medium and high. And on the right hand stick, if you push that in, that is our flip button. I think this thing is really easy to fly. I'm going to give my partner a go of it and see how she gets on with it. You can f*** with your f like this, you f***ing numpty. Sorry about that. I'm just having a little stop off point at this gliding club. I just love to come here and watch the gliders.
opportunity to go up in one of those gliders for free on a winch at that very same gliding club and I bottled it. I wish I hadn't, but I think my feet are meant to be firmly on the ground and whatever I'm flying needs to be up in the air away from me. I'm lucky that I've got that option really, aren't I? Here we are driving past the Hand and Cleaver pub. This is where Ozzy Osbourne from Black Sabbath used to do his drinking back in the 1970s. This is Bull Rush Cottage. This is where Ozzy Osbourne used to live in the 1970s. Please don't eat this quadcopter. No, she's like, what's that? Just leave me alone. What's the matter, Tilly? She knows she's filming her. She's cross. We're evading her privacy. You're a YouTube star now. Yes. So that's that throttle down. Mm -hmm. That throttle up. That's more towards me, that's further away. And that makes it do that. Yeah. That but one. That one isn't that a good one. one. Makes I it don't do like that. that. So you probably Try don't to want avoid to touch that, that one. one. I want to take it off, but she's in the way. <sighs> Which button makes the cat go away? You, you pulling the propeller. Don't eat the propellers, please. <laughs> it's a good job I've got spare propellers, Tilly. Oh, you're just licking your tail now. Tilly, leave. I need to fly this. Nice. Bring it back a bit. Now you know the stick on the right? Mm. Press it in. Sorry. Right, lower it down a bit, come back. The stick on the right, push it in as if it was a button. Now move the stick. It flips, no, no, pull, no, no, come no, no, back, no. down a bit, that's it. Bit. You like doing that little trick. Now press that right button in, and then move the, move the stick in one direction. Do you want to try press the landing button when it comes back to you? No, go away. Is that okay? You landed it. <laughs> yeah, you landed it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I don't think it liked it when. Oh no! I don't think it liked it when the cat bit it. What is it with your animals <laughs> eating my quadcopter? <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no.